Our lab studies muscular dystrophy, which are a pretty diverse group of genetic diseases, and um, we have a unique mouse model that we use to study it that carries a mutation in a gene that causes muscular dystrophy, specifically in the muscle. Um, and when we age the mouse out, we get the typical clinical features of muscular dystrophy that you might see in humans. And so really what we're interested in doing is trying to discover novel therapeutics for muscular dystrophy because none of them actually actually have treatments or cures that are effective at this point. Um, and for us specifically what we're interested in is tar targeting signaling pathways that might be abnormal in dystrophic muscle. Um, and so we, we have a drug that we can use to target this and in um, a pilot study that I've completed just by giving the drug every day for about a month, we were able to um, kind of improve the overall structure of the muscle, which gives a promising indication that maybe we could parlay this into some kind of human therapeutic. What I think is the so what factor for this is actually that the drug we're using is clinically available already. It's actually been used for probably 30 years um, and it's pretty well known as an anti-cancer drug. So um, for, for muscular dystrophies, because they're genetic diseases, the cutting edge is to, to design um, gene therapies. But gene therapies aren't clinically avail available in America and they're also not really suitable for muscle because it requires a massive dose to hit all the muscles. Um, so if we can actually get this drug into use in humans, it wouldn't have to go through clinical trials because it's already FDA approved, which really fast tracks it um, towards getting into human patients.